guys. All right, before I get started, cause I look fucking crazy. I'm gonna actually go ahead and put on my stocking cap because, all right, so I honestly, I haven't been braiding my hair because it's just way too much work. And I have a nails and it's way too hard. So for me, it's just so much easier if I just put my hair into two pigtails and then put on a stocking cap. So I keep it on sometimes, sometimes I don't. By the way, I was so rude. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Simone Charisse. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So today we're doing a video with Hair Vivi. And this is the packaging. You guys know I've done several um, things with them so this would not be the first time that I'm working with them absolutely love their units and I absolutely love how it fits my head okay so let me go ahead and open this I think this wig is a blonde unit so super excited about that Ooh, it is look at it I think this might this one might be an Instagram worthy wig I mean all of them are but you know what I mean so I'm just gonna install this and do a nice light makeup this is just so neatly done. Like how do, how do they make their wigs so completely neatly stitched, neatly put together? Wait, is this a full lace wig? Oh, this is a full lace wig. I didn't even, oh shit, I didn't even know it was a full lace wig, I swear to you guys. So this is how, I'm gonna show you guys how inside looks and I feel like it's very hard to find um, a full lace wig that's done properly, looks good, and you can actually part from the front to the back. Now with this unit, I've never seen a full lace wig made like this. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So look, this is, it kinda has like a mesh over where the, the strands are. Whereas unusual front lace front wigs, you would kinda see, it would look different, okay? It wouldn't look like this. <laughs> Um, you can see from the top, this is the parting. They did a great job on this. Um, the whole entire frontal, the roots are dyed. When you get to the back, the roots are not dyed, which is fine unless you plan on wearing your hair in two pigtails or whatever. I really love this. Really, 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 really. So in the back, there is some lace, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that part off. Uh, they did give me a headband. Usually I take it off, but I'm gonna see if I can keep it on because usually it's a little bit too low and it's still top of my ears, and then it's so uncomfortable. So I usually just take mine's um, off and just tighten the back of the wig. Life is so much harder when you have nails on because things that would take me one second take me like, a minute. Ooh. I love how I don't have to do anything. Okay. <laughs> I look like white chicks. Wait, hold on. Let me fix it. <sighs> so I don't think I need a stocking cap, but I only put a stocking cap underneath because my hair is not braided. So it's just so fuzzy underneath. So you can take it off if you want to. Ooh. This is so nice. I love it. And it fits so snug and perfect. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. That's on top of my ears. Yeah, this part is like sitting right on top of my ears. So I might have to take my headband off. All right, so I'm taking off my headband. All right, I'm gonna actually take my stocking cap off now. Pull it out. So let's get straight into this install. So I'm gonna be doing my typical technique, which is the Gotta Be Glued holding spray. And I'm gonna spray that and use my blow dryer to make sure it sits in place. Now, as I always mention to you guys, once it's drying, do not move it or it will become extremely flaky. So keep that in mind. But this process only takes me about 10 minutes or less. So it's definitely one of my favorite methods. When you have a blonde wig, cutting off the lace is always a challenge. So always keep in mind that you're probably going to have to spend a little bit more time on a blonde unit than you would on a black unit. So I'm going to go in with my Gotta Be Glue gel and I use a rat tail comb to pretty much press the crusty edges <laughs> into my scalp. The more I do this, um, the more lighter it becomes and the less crustier it looks, okay? So take your time, don't rush and eventually you will get your desired outcome. Now for blonde, I always have to do some kind of baby hair-ish type of technique. Um, later on, we will go back and brush them a little bit more back, so don't freak out yet. Hold on to your panties, don't freak out. But I do use mousse to scoop back any short hairs, aka the hairs we just cut. And I kinda like to do that so that it kinda stays in place and it stays set, so. The benefit with this unit from Hair Vivi is the fact that it already came pre-plucked and the knots were already pre-bleached. 
Um, and I know you're probably like, uh, so? <laughs> so this wig is perfect for a beginner, okay? As I said, it's pre-plucked. So I didn't pluck anything on this unit, okay? I also did not bleach anything on this unit. It already came exactly like that. The whole benefit of the whole fake scalp wig 2.0 is to not really have to wear any stocking caps. It's really just breathable, it's very soft. Um, I love the extra layer of lace because it's super delicate and it's not making the top of the hair super full. So I know you guys, if you watch my past videos with Hair VV, I'm always like, the top has so much hair, there's so much hair at the top of the lace wig or whatever. Um, and this makes it longer to style in this unit, on this unit, they did not do that. They kind of listened a little bit to, I guess, me and maybe other people and kind of took into um, consideration to put less hair at the top. That's what took this entire process so quick. So usually, it takes me about a while to get everything done, but I only really, I started at 10.50 a.m. and I finished at 1 o'clock with makeup included. So that's really good, especially for a blonde wig. So I am going to put some powder on the edge of the lace i used a powder that was more close to my skin color and that wouldn't look awkward in the daylight so be very mindful of that if you are going to put on some powder of some sort next i used a maybe a one inch barrel curling wand um if i can't find the same exact brand i will find one similar to it on amazon and link it down below but i used this to just add some large curls into my hair and I'm curling it under. It already came with curls, which is why I didn't wear it super bone straight, but I just wanted to go ahead and add more curls onto the unit. So, you know. <laughs> So fun fact, I'm really trying to hide my armpits right now in this video. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with y'all because I'm due for a body wax in like a week and a half. And I do full body waxes and I'm really trying to, I know, how do we get into a full body wax story? But, oh, I did use foundation on my um, wig. But I am trying to uh, not shave my armpits anymore because it, that does make it darker and has ingrown hair. So I'm really trying my hardest to hide my armpits. <laughs> uh, don't talk about this in the comment section. <laughs> So I am going to go ahead and just trim and just neaten up the hair a little bit. And I am using some hairspray just to make the curls last for some photos. And then I'm hot combing some hair, some hair going forward. So you don't have to use hairspray. You can use anything that you want to use. But I chose to use hairspray. I, I did go back in and use um, the Garnier Voluminous hairspray. It's not a hairspray. It's like a hair thingy and i use that because it gives me a lot of volume so in the part that you're about to see where i'm talking i didn't use it in the part that you've seen in the beginning in the intro i used it so you can see there's a huge difference going on there but you can use spray if you want to i just didn't i used both to be honest i just don't know where that footage is but yes let's get on to me talking in real life all right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this entire video. This was, um, it didn't take that long to do, but I actually really love my end result. Love Hair VV, to be honest. Everything is down below for you guys. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're not, at Simone.Charisse. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Wait, let me know what you guys think about my hair, by the way. <laughs> now, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!